Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you Autogen with other open source large language models. Let's get started. First, let's create a virtual environment. Conda create minus n Autogen Python 3.11. Now the virtual environment got created. To activate the virtual environment, go Conda activate Autogen. This will automatically activate the virtual environment. Next, pip install py autogen. Enter. This will install the Python package for autogen. Next, let's create a file called app.py. Touch app.py. Previously, I've shown you in a separate video as a beginner's guide on how to set up autogen. So this will be an extended version of that. So if you haven't watched that video, I will link that in the description. Please do watch the video. First, import autogen. Next, assistant equals autogen dot assistant agent this is the assistant agent and we name it as assistant now we'll have a user proxy autogen user proxy agent you are giving a name as user proxy after that you're going to enter code execution config equals and you're going to provide the working directory that's where the code everything will get saved i'm going to mention that as coding that is my working directory that's it the basic setup is done to initiate a chat we are going to type user underscore proxy dot initiate underscore chat then we are going to give the name of the assistant and the message this will be what we want to create generate five even numbers that's it now we're going to run that python app.py this will automatically generate five even numbers and save that in the folder i'm going to click enter this will continue execution of the code now you can see a new folder called coding got created you can see the even numbers two four six eight ten got printed so this is using open ai because initially i exported my open ai api key equals the api key which can be generated from open ai platform website but in our case, now we are going to change that to a local large language model, which is the open source. To do that, we are going to use LM Studio. This also we have seen before. I'll link that in the description below. So to download the model, go into the models tab. You should be able to see the list of all models available. I'm going to download Mistral 7 billion instruct model. Whatever model you like, you can go and click the download button, which is listed there. Once that is downloaded, you should be able to chat directly here and you have chosen that model at the top here we're going to make this as a server so there's the option at, if you click the icon on the left hand side like a local server click that icon then you should be able to see the settings we are going to click start server by clicking this button you will be able to get code completions and even query using this api so the api documentation is provided here so I'm going to copy this URL and take this back to our Autogen project. In Autogen, we are going to add another config list, which is like a list consists of API base, API base. And that's where we are going to paste our URL, which is the API. And then we are going to mention our API key. That will be null, N-U-L-L. -L. Then this config list will be going to the LLM config. There we are going to mention request timeout as 800 and config list as config list. Request timeout is the amount of time it takes to get a response from the large language model. Just because we are running it locally, sometimes it might take a long time. So I have increased the timeout. But in regards to chat GPT, it should work even without mentioning any timeout. Now we got the LLM config. I'm going to pass that LLM config into the assistant. So LLM config equals LLM config. That's it. We are adding just two sections of code, which is config list, which contains the API base and API key, and LLM config request timeout and config list. This is the only difference we have currently compared to the previous demo, which I showed you. Now we are going to run this Python app.py. Now it's querying 
the Mistral 7 billion parameter model. And we got a response here with the code as well. We'll type exit. Now here I'm going to query, what is your name and what model are you? I can write this and then python app.py. And now it says my name is Mistral and my model is Mistral 30B B1. So you can clearly see that it's querying from the Mistral model. You can change whatever model you want in the LM Studio. In LM Studio at the top, you can see what model you want to choose. So in this case, I've, cho I've chosen Mistral Instruct 7 billion parameter model. If you see, there's one more thing you might need to note to increase the context length. Here I have increased that to 1500. You might need to change based on the amount of text you are sending to the model. That's it. Start running open source model locally on your computer and integrate that with Autogen. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.